Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Why the shout? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I, I die laughing. I do. You keep this up and you just might. My, my, my grandfather was, was a wise man who came from the east. He, he, he followed, a, followed a star. That, that's still me. I'm still following. Still dreaming. Still free. <laughs> you, can't, you can't cage us. We are above. We, we, we are above. And, and, and we're free. Sam, you really need to come into town with me. You're not doing so well out no, here. No, no, no. See, I was careless, sir. I, I understand that now, but I, I, I will. I will find me my paradise. I will head west. I will. Come on, Sam. You probably just need a drink. You, you, you stay whoa, away whoa. from me. You whoa. stay away. I will find me my California. I, I, I will. Mr. McKenna, what are you doing here? Thought you were running a film company. Oh, Marston, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajoled and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris! It gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts of vain men. Guess I'll have to go make dreams elsewhere. Good luck. It'll take more than luck to stop me.
There we go, that's one. That's what I've been after. That's what I want. Whoa! 
That's the flower. This looks like the one. I'll be having that.
like a blackjack player. A handsome blackjack player. Yes. Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. <laughs> people can be real unkind, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm Clara. I used to be a nanny for a family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. My fool that I was fell for him. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell for a dollar. I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. I'll see what I can do. Excuse me. You know a girl named Clara? Is that? Is she one of the waitresses around here? No, she was a servant at your house. The only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join her people up north. <sighs> no, she helped raise your children. You and her had an intimacy of sorts. Look okay, here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. You to hear expressions against my character. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You go to your mind, laddie, or you're just a common criminal. A nerve, are you? You think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, 
Outside! No! What can I say, partner? Boy, that preacher a new arm fit. Hey, Clara. Hello, mister. Got you some money. Oh, you are very kind. Very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? Didn't go so well. well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> Unfortunately so. I, I, I must go to his grave. <gasps> afraid I don't know where that is. He'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. If I hurry, I can... I can make it to his funeral. Howdy, Marston. How are you doing, sir?
That Alex T. Davenport Eradicator show. Keep your eyes open, open mister. Hello to you. And how are you, sir? My condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that dog. Trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. Just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? Not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. Freedom to forget about our troubles. 
You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on earth if you just put down the bottle. <laughs> you don't know me so well, friend. If you did, you'd know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsyth, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. That I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir, when we live temperately alongside one another. You are doomed! Doomed! Go, Boston, before temptation gets the better of you. Mister, I heard about you. Sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No, you got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> You know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting fella. He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. These bar owners like me begging in the street. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds for the three of you. I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You can find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> this is a dangerous place for a man like you to be loyal. Yeah. My friends, intoxication. A sin. Keep a sin. A here. sin, I tell you. Hey there, Abner. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? Keep wishing, friend. You better move on soon. Fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly take this. Take care of yourself, Abner. Yeah. Sorry, mister. Hey, shooter, don't get twitchy. Sir, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I ain't here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's gonna be double the going rate for you. So be it. <laughs> 